Hey guys, welcome to another video. In previous videos, we've reviewed different catfish products like this one and this one. These are products that look one way, but when they arrive at your doorstep, they look totally different. Problem is, what if you want the original products? Many of these products are no longer in production if they were not in the United States or in Canada. So most people that want these products within these countries do not have access to them. We faced this problem as well. After not finding them elsewhere, we decided to build a team and make them ourselves, our version of them. In this video, we're going to look at one such product. In the past two weeks, one product that I have reviewed over and over again is this one. In my last Wolf Supply review, I reviewed a similar looking product. Now these two products, these two images are not the same. They look similar, but they are not the same. If you take a very good look at both images, you would realize that one of them, the one sold on Wolf Supply is grid patterned. They call it a waffle pattern. It's just a grid of squares arranged. The other one is an interwoven pattern. If you look closely at the image, you realize that the lines are made to intertwine amongst themselves. The grid one is pretty accurate to what you'll get. In fact, regardless of whichever one you buy right now in any of the online stores or on AliExpress, you would get the grid one. The interwoven one, however, is a lot more rare. And this is the one we wanted. So we went to work creating it. In this video, we're going to take a look at our final design, the fabric content, the fit and the price. Let's get started. Turns out that most manufacturers in China do not know the difference between the patterns. Initially, we relied on our manufacturers to help us determine the pattern, but most of them didn't know what the pattern was and offered a grid fleece or waffle fleece, like the one you see on the Wolf Supply website. We rejected that. So the first order of business was to discover what pattern this was. The good thing about YouTube is everything can be learned. So after a ton of research, we discovered that this pattern is actually a pattern called basket weave. Basket weave pattern is actually just an illusion. There is no weave. All you see actually is a cleverly executed series of knit rows and columns that give you the illusion of an interwoven pattern. But if you look closely at the pattern, you see that really it's not. This took us a few months to discover and get right. There are particular parts of the hoodie that your eyes don't catch exactly. This is one of them. Most hoodies have a 5cm hem. It's pretty large. But on this particular hoodie, part of what makes it stand out, part of what makes the pattern in front stand out is the fact that the hem and the cuff are not very tall. If not, you'd first see this when you looked at the sweater. These have to be minimized to allow this pattern to come out strong. Our first sample was a little larger. This was 5cm. And after reviewing it and taking a look at the sweater, we realized we had to reduce the hem. So this hem is now three and a half centimeters long. It's short, but it looks very good. It also gives it the feel of wearing a hooded shirt rather than a sweater. Another thing we had to get really right was the color. Here. Now, a regular hoodie has a pretty deep cut in front where the hood attaches to the hoodie. This, on the other hand, to give you that fitted look, the color needs to be shorter than regular colors. So after a few tries, we got that as well. But beyond that, the neck also needs to be a shawl or cowl neck. It cannot be a regular hoodie neck. A regular hoodie neck may come up front like this, and these two parts meet in front here. But this couldn't be that way. These had to overlap such that when you wore it, this inner part folded on the outer one. Further, the color is not a totally round color. It has a little square edge in front. So it took us a little while to get this as well. Up here, or down here rather, we put our Mara logo in leather. Pretty good leather too, this looks good. To match with that, we created aglets. Now these are leather aglets, they call them pig nose aglets. And an aglet is simply the iron thing, or in this case, the leather thing you see on a hoodie stopper. A stopper, that's another name for it, simply a stopper. It stops the hoodie from going inside. Now, the drawstrings for this, we went with an ash one, as you would see in some images, but we prefer the white ones. The white ones haven't come in yet, and maybe they'll come in the next batch, but we also discovered that a good way to wear this hoodie is simply without this at all, or even better still, 
you can shorten the drawstring such that it's very little and almost unseen and it's just about five centimeters or so long this looks good as well so overall we think it came out pretty good now getting the design was only the first part we also had to get the fabric just right on the fabric we had several options most times when you see a sweater you assume that the sweater is wool but many sweaters are made of cotton cotton is more maintainable plus you can mix it with polyester which keeps its drape better helps it last longer there's also different kinds of cotton there's regular cotton called carded cotton this is the cotton you see on most shirts but there's also Pima cotton, like you have seen in my per clothing review. There's Egyptian cotton, but in regular cotton, beyond carded, there's also what they call ring spun cotton. Ring spun cotton is just regular cotton that goes through an extra ring spinning process that gives it added softness. Now, ring spun cotton shirts, when you wear them, are remarkably softer than regular cotton shirts. But beyond even ring spun cotton, there's another kind of cotton called mercerized cotton. That's right, my Sarai's cotton gives it added luster. And there are some sweaters you see from afar and you just feel, from your eyes, you can feel the softness. You can actually feel the softness of the shirt. Many of these are moisturized, and the softness you feel from your sight is due to the luster, the extra shine that makes it look soft. After researching a lot of this, we decided to go with moisturized ring spun cotton so that you feel the softness but you also see the softness from afar if you can see it from this lighting this hoodie gives a little shine a little luster so we went with mercerized cotton now why cotton why not wool well part of the problem with wool is that good wool is very expensive and a lot of people searching for these hoodies including ourselves our middle class or our students or just started their first jobs after college basically they don't have a lot of money so we wanted something that the average guy could afford something good and stylish in his wardrobe but he could easily afford it we decided not to go with very expensive wool which is also expensive to maintain and go instead with cotton in that case then we wanted to go with the best cotton we could find moisturized lustrous ultra soft cotton really one of the best things in terms of fabric that we have made in any of our hoodies now we want to go into all the colors but right now we've only made white colors for this how about the fit and price i'm marketing it directly through youtube for a few reasons the first is a lot of you that are going to find this channel or find this video are people that have looked for these items before just like we did so we want your feedback the first thing is we want to keep the prices down the price of this hoodie will never go beyond 52 dollars because that's kind of at the top of what we think is a fair price but right now it's between 42 to 52 dollars how about the fit comfortable and it's fitted if we take a look at the neck here just like i described before you can see where it squares out just right in front over here the neckline is higher up than most hoodies most hoodies are down here this is up here that gives it the fitted snug feel and look that you can see right now the luster you see the shine you see coming through if this shows up in the video is from the moisturized cotton so it looks soft but it also feels extremely soft and wonderful now the drawstrings the drawstrings are pretty long as you can see from here but like i said before if you wanted to reduce this all you need to do is just shorten these up and um just shorten this one up such that this is about here Alternatively, you could just take the drawstrings out and this would still be okay. Again, the hood is stretchy enough to maintain itself, but without the drawstrings as well, it looks pretty good. But the shorter drawstrings, I think it looks better because it gives you that added nice accent and accents make things look better visually. So overall, the results are good. You can see it again here. When you first look at this hoodie, you don't see the cuff or the hem. The first thing you see is the pattern up front, it's the shine, the luster, and the look, including the hoodie design up here. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you also have ideas of other things you've seen and you've liked, we've gotten a few. We were to do winter coats this season, but coronavirus caused a lot of problems in our production line, so we're putting that off until next year. In the meantime, let me know what you think in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye.